Hello my friends, welcome again. In this video we are going to work with a Laravel one-to-many relationship. We make a previous video with one-to-one -one and now I want to show you one-to-many relationship. And if you go to the Laravel documentation, uh, inside the document you have relationships and one-to-many, okay? And you have the very good explain here how to make a relationship on the many and for everything related to Laravel, this is the place to learn more. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to make a one to many relationship. And for this, I'm going to create a new model and call it a post create a migration for that and open the that post migration and inside here I'm going to create a just make a give it a string for the title and maybe the medium text for excerpt and and for relationship I'm going to make a relationship with a user so to make a relationship you need to pass the use uh, the ID of the user if I go if you go here I, I show you in the previous video you go to the uh, database you have the migrations and you have the how to make migration and pass the, st the string or anything you want but for now I'm just going to show you the for each key and you pass the user ID and find it big in the J user ID and the forging user ID reference ID on the user but in the level 8 you can do this it's more shortener and just put it here and go and migrate this Okay, now if I go here and refresh, yeah, we have a post with ID of total excerpt, user ID, and that's it. Now, if I go now here, and just comment it out, this one is from the pre previous video. So we have a, 10 users. From the previous video, we created the uh, fake users and we have 10 of them. But we don't have any posts, so if, uh, yeah, we need to make a relationship, so sorry, inside the users, user model, we have the phone and we need to add one more function. And this is going to be post and this is plural now not singular no post but post because the user is going to have many posts so I are going to return this has many posts Class, save it and inside the post I'm going to make the same thing we put it here inside the post public function user singular this post belongs to the user okay save it and now here if I if 
find the user. So we have here the user, and we are going to find the user with ID of one. And we want to create a new a new post. So one thing, one way is to this is new post and the post title is going to be the first title the post excerpt is going to be the first and now you the post user ID is going to be with user we have here user ID and save the post okay so if I save this and go to the block here refresh we don't have anything we don't have any error if I go to a post and refresh a post yeah we have a post with df1 first title first excerpt and the user id is one okay let's make another one and just give it user id of two and now I'm going to comment it out this and make it another way the user post sorry save and if I go and refresh Refresh here, we have the second post and the ID is two, first title, second, uh, first excerpt and the user ID is now two, okay? Here we have the ID of user ID one, here we have the user ID of two and we make it in this way and we have in the previous video we make it this, okay? So we have the user and the post so if I have the user, sorry, I'm going to remove this and uh, comment it out, not remove it, just to leave for you here. So we have the user, now give give me the user post, so, so I'm going to return the user post. And I'm going to return as a JSON. Here, if I refresh, yeah, we have a ID of two. Title is first title, except first except, and user ID is two for that post. And we have the created that and updated that. So here's the user with ID of two. If I go here and change this to one, save. So we have the ID of the post is true and the ID of the user user ID is true. Okay, if I make a refresh here now, that the ID is one of the post and the ID of the user ID is one. Okay, so if I go here and find the post so uh, post make uh, post find the post with ID of one and now give me the user of the post the inverse so we have the post and give us the user so if I save now go here and refresh we have now the user, the ID of the user is one, name is uh, 
Lucas Loe make fight. Go here and just give me the name. Save, refresh. Yeah, we have the name. But if I change the ID here to two and save, so we have the post with ID two, and we have a different user for this post. If I refresh, tak, yeah, we have a different user. Okay, and this is how the one to many relationship work. Uh, next video, I'm going to show you a many to many relationship. If you like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.